Hello, guys. Welcome back to this amazing, subsequently the best thing in the world, probably actually the only thing you love, my channel. And this is the Golden Goal Show. Go Golden Goal Show. I already messed it up. Nice. All right. What yeah. league do you guys want to move on to now? Uh, let's let's go, go. go. La Liga. La Liga? La Liga. La Liga? La Liga. Hijo de puta. Yeah, la Una, Liga. dos, tres. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, what, what, what are we thinking, boys? Look at the table. Atletico Madrid's first, you know. Real Madrid second. Barcelona's third. Fourth, Sevilla. What, what do we think with the upcoming games coming up? Come on, Barcelona. Atletico Madrid. That's a big thing. That, that, that'll decide the league. That game is going to decide the, the route of the rest of the, the, rest of the come, upcoming And Real Madrid league. and Sevilla. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah. This is... I, will, I will say that both games will decide, not only Barca versus Atletico. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I do believe I do believe that the one who has the biggest advantage right now winning the league is neither Barca or Atletico. It is Real Madrid. Mm -hmm. They literally have the easiest uh, schedule after Sevilla's game. And I mean, you can even pull it. Yeah, you're already pulling it right there. Mm -hmm. Barca, after, after Atletico Madrid, they have Levante. They have Celta Figo. Tough games. We always drop point against the, uh, those two teams. Yeah, that's if we beat Atletico Madrid. <clears throat> Where yeah. you're going to have Luis Suarez coming back home to destroy us. To get some revenge after what happened. To show ah. Coleman what he can do. He can't wait to play against PK and destroy him. How many goals he has See, in, in the season so far? He is the... Actually, can you pull that, Andrew? Or what do you want me to do? Actually, don't worry about it. He's asked about how many goals did he score. Who? Luis Figo? Figo? No, Luis Suarez, man. How Luis many goals Suarez. Luis Suarez has? <laughs> Luis Figo. I don't know what I'm on. Okay, I'll, I'll look it up right don't now. Don't worry. I got it. I got it. He has 19, I wear my 19 goals from 28 games only. So the guy is a beast. <laughs> mm. Man, the improvement. After he's okay. Me. He could be better. He's I mean, playing he's with only... Atletico Madrid, a team that plays defensively. What are you talking about? Mm. Messi has the most goals. He has 28. Karim Benzema, 21. Gerardo Moreno, 20. Luis Suarez, 19. He's fourth highest goal scorers. Hmm. Nice. Mm. Not bad. Yeah. Could be more. Yeah, Barca, man, Barca, Barca can dominate the whole game, but still screw it up with only yeah. one. That's what worries me. Like a player like Suarez, he is a finisher. If you give him half a half a ha just half a chance, he's gonna mm -hmm. score it. And you are playing against a Barca defense, the man. It's almost like every counter attack against us or every real danger against us. It's a goal. Like, literally, it's a goal. Like, against Valencia, we dominated the whole game. We kept missing chances as usual. And then Valencia, from the first chance, they scored. Yeah. Okay, well, And let's... that happened through the whole season, so... It just goes to show... To... I mean, yeah. tactics, com comments, tactics sometimes, the way he reads games. I will, I will just say, put De Jong back as a CB. What? Just put De Jong back as a center back. All right. Well... Let, let's let's ah, talk about let's, ah, let's, ah, oh, oh. Ah, okay. Okay, let's let's talk yeah. about let's talk we're we'll talking about it. Hey, don't worry. Okay, what league next? Uh, uh let's go to Premier. We didn't talk about Madrid. Yeah, we didn't talk about You're talking about Madrid versus Sevilla. We'll, we'll talk about that in a bit, but like let's just do a rundown okay. of the leagues real quick. Okay, Premier League. Yeah, <clears> but I mean just to be fair, like you can't just talk about one team. We're favoring Barca. We're not even talking about Madrid. I believe Madrid, okay. if they beat Sevilla, they I are... I have a question. Are you going to edit this? Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, that's why we're... Yeah, that's why we're watching our language whenever we're talking here. Oh, I just said the F word like 30 times. All right. Don't no, worry. he didn't say, he didn't say anything. <laughs> Andrew, next. Uh, let's go Italia. 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 Okay. Yes, yep. here we are. Inter We're not going to talk about Inter. Gabione, I mean, congrats to Inter. Gabione. Yes, I'm so happy that happened. They deserve the, it. They the fully guy, deserve it. 
I mean, they built it in the right way. <laughs> Whenever you want to win why something like that, you're just why, gonna why are you just going to bring... Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? <laughs> what do you want? Uh, what do you want? Uh, what are you laughing? What are you laughing? <laughs> You can mute yourself whenever you're laughing. Inter Milan deserved this title after nine years of UV dominating. Actually, Inter Milan should have won it last year too. Lukaku. They should feel bad about missing. I mean, come on. UV screwing screwing themselves up. I mean, they are hiring someone who didn't even practice being a coach. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know what the heck was that move. You make like you have Cristiano in his last years, and you want to sound like you want to win something, and then you hire Phil. Like, I you should have just kept Sari if you want to win the league. Now you're like, mm-hmm. probably might even miss the Champions League spot. I would I love to so. see that. I, I, I would love, love to I, see I that. I totally agree with you. I mean, no offense. I mean, Pirlo's a legend, he, he was one of the best midfielder players ever. Um, everyone knows that, of course. But as a coach, he needed more experience. Just like Lampard needed more experience. They took the guy didn't out. even coach any game, man. <laughs> like, he didn't even coach the youngsters. At least it's Lampard true. has some experience. But yeah, let's not... Let's talk about Atlanta. Atalanta, bro. Atalanta. Atalanta, Atalanta. yeah. Atalanta. 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 Respecting, respecting their project. A team who nobody <laughs> knew in the last three, four years are the strongest team when it comes to the offense. Oh, and, and uh, almost remember, a they, guaranteed they, they let go Champions League spot. Remember, they yeah. let go of a very important player. Like, uh, what's his name? And, like, it's a, it's a formation. Like, it doesn't matter who leads. It's like a Simeone, but an offensive Simeone. Wait. Yeah. With Gasparini. <clears throat> the guy, the coach, I mean, they let go of Gomez to Sevilla. It didn't matter for them. I was yeah, about to say, that I, I'll be honest, at one point I was like, Man, they let Gomez go. I don't know what's going to happen to them, but <laughs> hey, they proved me wrong. Second place? Like, wow. That goes to show, man, that the project in that team, in that club right now is solid. And they're building. They're coming up. Uh, I won't be surprised that they pull off a league in the next couple of years. Yeah, I mean, it's you a long... You hope to see it. It's a you long hope it. You hope to see someone like that winning. Yeah, they deserve yeah, it's it. It's like the Leicester, basically. Yeah. And now let's talk about Milan, my team who had the biggest mm-hmm. disappointment, I would say. Mm-hmm. Those that last couple games. games it's, that it's, they a, lost it's a disappointment them. because, you know, they were basically leading the whole damn league for like how many weeks and then how many uh, match, match days. But at the same time, you, you, you have to, you know, leave with the, they're coming back after a couple, what, how many years of See, disappointment? I think. I think the biggest disappointment I would say since like I'm a very close Milan fan and I'm watching <laughs> every news and all that to them. Uh, their medical staff is very bad. The team literally <laughs> the team literally like it's even worse than Madrid. Like you're gonna see players missing for such like two months or more than that and nobody knows what the heck is going on. You miss Zlatan for almost half season. You missed Kair, you missed Theo, you missed... I mean, I don't even recall Milan playing with full squad, man, since the beginning of the season. Yeah. I believe yeah. Milan playing in the Europe League and the league screwed them up. They should have... They could have just, like, let go of the Europe League and focus on winning the league. Or, I mean, their biggest priority should be qualifying to the Champions League right now. Uh, Milan is going to have the toughest schedule. They're going to play UV and Atlanta in their way to the end. Uh, I would love to see Milan qualify, but I think it's going to be Inter, UV, Atlanta. And I'm not saying yeah. Milan might not qualify, but because you also have Napoli who are coming all the way back with Gattuso. Mm. And man, I would hate to see Gattuso qualifying with Napoli to the Champions League instead of us, since he costed <laughs> us last season qualifying to the Champions League. Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. And that's my opinion. Too. Yeah, that's my opinion about it. All right. Do you want to yeah. talk about Premier League now? Yeah. Or actually, let's, okay, okay. Let's just get, skip over this first. The factory as a league, as we know. The factory? The factory. Bayern. Oh. Yeah. We, they call it Farmers League. Yep. Well, yeah. The Farmers League is in France, but. No, so, that, not right now. No, not right I, now. I, 
I forgot well, to put. Mm. <clears throat> we can talk about. Oh, you should have had the French league, man. Oh, don't worry. We're talking about who's gonna win it, Lille or PSG. Right now, since don't Monaco worry. dropped point, uh, sorry, since Lyon dropped point against Monaco, or or vice versa, I'm not sure. Yeah, this league. Yeah. I mean, the now the, it's they're gonna be the race to the Champions League spot. Basically. I mean, Dor- Dortmund if, was very surprising where they're positioned with the team they have. I mean, see with Dortmund, they also have probably when it comes to the coach, sacking their coach or sorry, changing their coach. They also lost oh, Sancho okay. for such oh, a long okay. time. Yeah. And I mean, Dortmund, I mean, they're always going to be like that. They're always going to be kind of like a black horse team, but they're not the team that who's going to, Nobody can stop buying. Yeah. Sorry, my cat is just. Oh. Whoa. All right. Yeah, I'm getting into that job. Out. So, yeah, I believe Dortmund, if they don't qualify to the Champions League, they're going to sell Sancho. That's 100% mm. sure. How long they, is it going to leave? They might, they might even sell Sancho without qualifying. Like, even if they qualify, they already decided that they're going to sell him probably for Man United. With less than 100 million euro, they even announced that yeah. they have an agreement now with Sancho. But the question is going to be Haaland, as you said, will Haaland leave? The, I, I honestly don't believe that he's going to leave this summer. Really? Yeah, I, I think although Raiola is his agent, the only way for Haaland to leave this season is to do the same thing that Dembele did with Barca. Yeah go against his club and I don't see Haaland doing that. It's gonna just give a bad representation nah, of him. He he won't do that. I think he'll follow he won't do that. Yeah. Raiola say. Whatever Raiola man, says. Raiola is a snake. <laughs> like I would I would hate to deal with someone who's dude, Raiola is dude, a snake. Chill. He's gonna li- he's li- he's gonna probably listen to this. So you know oh, sorry. Yeah yeah yeah. Sorry. No don't worry. But I mean okay. like like don't get me wrong, like he is a snake in a good way. Like the guy can make <laughs> A star. <laughs> Just a minute. A guy, a guy can make a star, a superstar. Like he will, let's say that you are playing in the second league, all right? Second division. Like he's going to make you look like a division one star and easily sell you with double of your actual worth of being a player. Yeah. I yeah. mean, that's the difference between him and Jorge Mendes. Mendes will value you in your actual value. Like, he's not going to say that you are more than that, or he's not going to say that you are less than that. You are worth this, and you should just go with it. Yeah. With Raiola, no. I mean, look at Donnarumma right now in Milan. <laughs> he, wants, he wants Donnarumma to resign with Milan with a 15 million euros as his pay cut. Or delete, or delete. I mean, apparently that rumor going on that he kind of wants. No, no, I don't believe. I don't. I don't believe with the deal of rumors. But I mean, looking at Donnarumma, he wants him to have 15 million, and he's only 21 years old, and that's gonna make him the highest paid goalkeeper in the world. And the kid is just 21 years old. Like that's just outrageous. Yeah. So Raiola doesn't respect any club. He only works for his players. He has no respect for any club. He made that very clear. Especially, especially, also, especially, yeah, he made it clear back in '09. You know, during that, uh, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna forget he, this Latin show too. Yeah, that's what I say. Remember that? Oh Jesus! So yeah, I mean, whoever is gonna deal with Raiola, man, you're gonna keep hearing the rumors every single summer or something like that. He's gonna make sure that the guy is gonna renew only for three years, and some of them he's gonna, they're gonna have a, a closeout feature just to let them leave for a bigger <coughs> club, maybe if the money comes. That's mm, Raiola. Yeah. I mean, we heard that in Haaland's contract for next year, that's going to be $75 million. <laughs> probably, probably it's not true. But we'll see. Mm. But, you know, okay. with the Bundesliga, even though, of course, we all know that Bayern's going to go into the Champions League. Uh, who else? Lipsing, Wolfsburg. Uh, he should just join Bayern. Well, what what you guys think, honestly? Mm. Boring. What, you, what do you guys think of, uh, I guess, Leverkusen? Uh, honestly, a team that so, no, I mean, Leverkusen is a team that you you almost see every other year in the Champions League spot. Yeah. And they've been known that being a good team who has a good, I mean, like squad, even whenever they lose their squad, like with Kai and all that. I mean, they lost Kai and they lost Venter this summer. 
Yeah. yeah. To Dortmund they always and have Chelsea a player that rises million. up. They got more than 120 million euros from the transfer market. So expect yeah. them to get some good deals. <clears throat> yeah, I agree. So okay, yeah, I'm not so. surprised. I mean, I would say the surprise is going to be Frankfurt and Silva shining back again Ooh, after what happened oh, in Love Frankfurt in <laughs> been doing exceptional. Yeah, and, and doing they great. also got Jovic back. Yep, exactly. They've been but rocking. But Wolfsburg, I didn't expect Wolfsburg to be in the top four again. It's been Maybe. a while since the Madrid yeah. versus yeah, Madrid know, game right? against them. But so yeah, I mean, mean, all of them <clears throat> deserve it in a way. Yeah, Leipzig is going to be there for a while. I mean, they already established themselves as a club right now, so expect them maybe to win the league in a couple of years. But hey, they already lost their coach and the best CV they had. Yeah. yeah. You want to talk to about who else? Yeah. All right. Go so, ahead. you want to talk about Premier League? Yeah. Premier League. Yeah. I think it's from my side. Is I think it's over. Yeah, I Man City. I think. Man yeah, City. Really... No, it's not only about Man City. I think even the top four is already over. You think you think Ch- yeah honestly I, don't I think, think Chelsea <laughs> yeah I think Chelsea United Leicester City are going to be the top 4 I honestly think Leicester's going to drop points because they always do that stuff they always do I it. mean it it happened last season but I think they learned from their mistake this season I mean even if they mm, drop points hopefully. who's going to Okay, they've lost the last two games. games. Hopefully, they've they lost the last two games. Yeah. yeah. They have yeah. a very easy they have a very easy schedule I've seen it or kind of yeah. easy, but yeah, I mean, playing Newcastle. Who, it's true. Who's gonna take their spot? Come on, Liverpool, please. West Ham. <laughs> no, yeah, West Ham. Even West Ham will drop points somehow. Chelsea. I mean, I would love it? to see West Ham. <clears throat> I, I, I want to see Leicester. Because look, Leicester okay, so, it. so Leicester, they got Newcastle on Friday. On the twelfth, they play United. Then they play. Uh, they play Chelsea. Yeah. Then they, uh, the last game they played the uh, Spurs. Mm. West, Ham, I mean, and West, West Ham can, you know, sneak in fourth. Chelsea can move up third. Yeah, it's true. You know? Yeah, but I mean, look at Chelsea's schedule too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's but, even easier. I mean, it's even harder than it. If you're playing City, playing Arsenal. big games. You're and playing if City, you play, Arsenal. If you they qualify to the Champions though. League final also, they do have the squad depth. But, I mean, you're talking about big games here, like, I mean, if you compare you can, the squad, the squad dev from last season to this season, the, the squad dev is is totally different. You know, they of course, but I mean, you can't play with second team against City or something like that. No, 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 you can't. Of course, you can't. But hey, or even Leicester. Who knows? We're probably gonna, you know, that City Chelsea is a prelude to what we're gonna see in the Champions League. Final. <laughs> it's you know? true, and we already saw it with the FA Cup. You know? Look what Chelsea did to them. So. It's true it's, that it's, Chelsea it's won. It's true that Chelsea won the FA Cup against City. Mm-hmm. That, that game, but I totally believe if Chelsea is gonna play Man City in the final of Champions League, Man City got that. I don't. Mm, I don't think so. I mean, that's you are a Chelsea fan. I don't blame you, but I, totally I just believe think a squad that's gonna City, help so much. You are talking about well, twelve, squad, 12 bro. Mm-hmm. Bro, what are you mm-hmm. talking about when it comes yeah. to City? Come on, that's awesome. they have they have Raheem Sterling in the bench, and the guy is worth seventy million euros. Yeah, you're talking about a bench. You're talking about a bench that has Aguero, Jesus. Uh, who else? I mean, if he's not playing with Bernardo Silva, and even more, man, the, the guy's bench is worth more than four hundred million euros. And that's how it was that. in Munich too. That's how it was in Munich too. But this team, at least with this team, Pep Guardiola is unpredictable. When yeah, it so comes is Chelsea, to Tuchel, honestly. No, so when it Chelsea. comes to Tuchel, it's already predictable, man. Mm, not the, he is not playing. Even the team. Uh, he is playing with the three-five-two or five-three-two formation. Man, it's already. It's been like I can't tell you who's gonna be tomorrow's or sorry Wednesday's center back in Chelsea, and you already know it. And who's gonna be the midfielder? And who's gonna be the wingers? The only player that you can't predict if he's gonna start, and probably he's gonna start. It's gonna be Werner. So Chelsea is predictable when it comes to the squad. City. There is no way you can predict City. City, one game he's playing with you, like, well, I mean, the other game he can't play 4 3 Yeah, two. but for sure he's not going to play with a nine, as you said earlier. You never, that's what I'm saying. You never know with Pep. You literally never know with Pep. The guy is known to not have, like, the same tactics or something like that for every game. Yeah. He can, heck, he can even surprise you and play with two as tri- strikers, Aguero and Jesus in the same time, and have Kevin behind him. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, okay. So he takes yeah, it game by game. Okay. But hey, well, let's make let's let, let's see uh, if both teams gonna make it first. Yeah, yeah for sure. sure, for sure. No, uh, uh, let's see what else. A disappointment. Clubs. A team that to me was a disappointment so far. Everton. The way they started was mm. just. Yeah, yeah. I, so believe I believe Everton. I believe Everton is a mid team table. They deserve to be. They deserve to be more. But I just. Yeah, I, I I saw them at least where West Ham is at right now. Honestly. Yeah, I mean. Uh, if, you know, that's the biggest top... surprising when it comes to West Ham. That's true. I mean. Yeah, it's team, their surprise. <laughs> I was hoping Aston Villa gonna keep up, but they couldn't. Yeah, and then of course Wolves. Wolves. But yeah, I would I say you should they say lost the biggest Raul. disappointment. They lost Raul. You should say, yeah, still, but you can. You should say that the biggest disappointment is going to be Liverpool. Yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, the injuries, <laughs> the injuries. Affect, no, but, but bro, still, they. I mean, who they lost? Van Dijk. Van Dijk. Yep. The, yep. the team, the team can't even score with their top three. They can't even score. Yeah. Man, what you're talking about? It took yeah, them four true. months to score and win a game. And what do you think is that? Um, that answers my question. Why, why do you think? You need to change. Has That's not been clinical. You think? No, you need to. You just need new blood. New blood. I I always yeah. always I don't know me. My opinion. I always think that sometimes the idea just gets old and just just not just me. No, I. But think I it's know it's not, it's not. It's not. It's I know it's not club. And you you look at the depth that we've been talking about other teams. The depth, they do need a little bit more players probably. See, with Liverpool, don't forget they won the Champions League with Origi and Shakiri. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I mean, I hate to say it, but they actually did it. But yeah. I believe it's not Klopp's fault. I believe they need to change the squad. They need yeah. to sell one of the top three. And the, I mean, Firmino is just, he's just giving 50% of what the, all Firmino yeah. doing. Same with I mean, Manny. I mean, Salah is the only one who is almost keeping up his performance. They but need the to not even happy. more. Jota as well. He's, Diego, he's a Jota, great player. Diego deserved the champ, but he was injured for so, most of the time. He just oh, came oh, back. Oh, so are we saying probably, you know, a return to Anfield from Coutinho? <laughs> no. No. You're fine. No. Coutinho. I mean, I hear drummers. <laughs> see, Everton, Coutinho's I see. done. I believe Coutinho is done. MLS? Uh, no, Come I think, on, nah, I mean, nah. I hear them. I hear the rumors <laughs> that him joining Everton. That's, that's what I was saying. Oh. Oh my god, would be such a good a team. Good, yeah, I would say that's a good But who's choice gonna be bench? Hamas or him? No, it'd be both they You can play with both. You yeah, play you, with could. Both. you could play with both. Talk about transfers. Transfer. Let, let's get into this. Well, I as much as I would hate to say it, Neymar rumors are coming uh, more and more to Nego? the surface. <laughs> I mean, the guy, I mean, it, all, it will all depend on tomorrow for sure. Also, if they get knocked out, I totally believe that Neymar will push to leave PSG. I mean, we're already hearing the rumors of Mbambi refusing to renew his contract with PSG. <clears throat> Why is that? What do you think? Why do you think? Because you he see, wants to join Madrid. I mean, he made see, it very freaking obvious. You see, and we talked this, me and you, privately. We, I've been hearing about Neymar renewing since January, and and I'm oh, like even before, even before that, of course. And you know, when a player wants to, I know they can say, "Oh, I want to admit it." You know, Neymar said in July, "Oh, I want to stay in Barca forever. Uh, I'm going to be in this club." Back in July 2017, and then what happened in August? You know, I would agree with you. Whenever you mentioned to me, like everybody is already signed up and renewed their contracts. Before and the rumors of Neymar even came up before all of them, and yet they all renewed before Neymar. You see, like Di Maria renewed, Navas renewed. Navas renewed, yeah. You got and Xavi, like uh, Xavi Simmons, probably gonna sign a a, a first team contract. Renewal, renewal. There you yeah. go. Um, you, but, you name it. I mean, those, those it are might be pieces. true. It might be true that Neymar <clears throat> will renew. I mean, the contract hasn't been signed, but I think he's waiting to see what's gonna happen in the Champions League first. I think I mean, he's waiting with losing see, both. I think he's gonna wait. Yeah. But, sorry, go, ahead, go, ahead, no, sorry. go ahead. Oh my gosh. I think talk. losing I think losing the Champions League and losing the league in France will be his ticket out of PSG. Yeah. I think losing the 
you know, if if, if they lose tomorrow, I think that sh- that's the killer. Because I mean, like yeah. you said, if, okay, if they come back and they win the the league, league on, the Uber Eats league on, <laughs> gotta love it. Gotta love it. <laughs> That'll be fine. I, I mean, they win it. I mean, even almost, I mean, even the, the league. Web. That's the thing. Like they always win it. Almost, yeah, they the same. Almost, they always, always win it. it. They always win it. The French Cup or whatever the Uber Eats French or whatever they call it nowadays. Dude, don't just respect Uber Eats, man. Come on, we could get sponsorships from that. You never know. True, true, true. Yeah. Um, I, yeah. Uh, I just, I feel that. I mean, he openly said, "I want to play with Messi." You know, he did. He, he openly said, "I he did." And he and he did not say it once. He did it. He said it like what two or three times. He said it in public that he want to play with Messi. With again. Messi next yeah. season. Next, next season. season. He made it very clear this next season. Yeah. Okay, okay, I question for was, you guys. Quick yeah. question. Would you rather see Messi in Paris or would you rather see Neymar in Barca, <laughs> in, in Spain? Oh, I bet I'll, 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 I'll go first. Question. I, go I first. would rather see Neymar back in Barca. Okay. Explanation. Go ahead. Um, because I love that team. It's okay. easy. I would. I want. I want the best players for my team. Seeing Neymar, I mean, nobody can deny that Neymar. Whenever he's in top form, he is the third sec- best player in the world, or maybe sometimes <coughs> even the second. Yeah. He delivers mm-hmm. stuff that even sometimes Messi and Ronaldo can't do. I don't, yeah. I don't know, but like Emil Heskey, he was like one of the greatest of all time. I would think. Come down, KSI. <laughs> what, who's that? <laughs> who that? Who that? <laughs> <laughs> I think. Um, it goes I, – I'm not saying it goes both ways because it doesn't. But Neymar to Barca would be a more logical – it makes more sense. Um, I mean, it's just when, that, you come, when it comes just to the media, when it comes to the fame, when it comes to all of that, I mean, being in Barca, you're going to be replacing Messi, something yeah. that should have happened a while ago. You're going to be the one who's going to get all the media – towards him you're going to be the one who is going to be in the you know champ like the golden uh, sorry the Ballon d'Or and all that the golden I mean, goal show Neymar. brought to you by Uber Where, Eats yeah. I mean look <laughs> at Neymar since he joined PSG when was the last time that he actually was in the top three best players in the world never no. the last time that happened was in 2015 when he won the Champions League with Barca no. Since then, the guy didn't even make it. I mean, we are talking about the third best player in the world who didn't even make a single appearance in the top three or even <laughs> top five, man. Even top five, man. Can you imagine that? Yeah. Since mm-hmm. he left Barca. So, yeah, he definitely needs to go back. Even if he stayed in PSG, the media and all everybody is going to cover him. Bambi, they're not going to cover him. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's I just good. think not only that, but like you were saying, um, for his benefit, for his Barca benefit, is but his it, best choice. Let, let's go back to like you were saying around that. Um, I think it was the 2016 2015 season, if I'm correct. Um, oh, the UV one that we got knocked out. No, that was 2017. <laughs> that was 2017. That no, was 20, oh, Atletico. No, yeah, Atletico. yeah, yeah. No, no, but that season, that season, uh, they were the defending champs. Um, when Messi got hurt, who took over? Who just stepped up and said, Hey, I'm taking over. Neymar and Suarez too. Neymar and Suarez, but no, no, but him being the, the yeah, yeah, but he showed, he showed, he showed like he, he showed. I can't, I can't say that Neymar doesn't show up in the big games because he does. Oh, that's what I'm saying. And and, and like, he, if he, we had a player like Neymar, we would have probably yes, we would have probably won two champion, two more Champions League, and we would have easily probably got uh, past Liverpool in that Champions League. Easily. Yeah. I mean. Like, I can't say that Neymar coming back is not going to be helpful for us. It's going to be huge for Barca yeah. to sign Neymar back. <clears throat> and even if Barca fans will hate it in the beginning, they will accept it. I mean, bro, we saw it. We, I mean, nobody's going to pick Dembele over Neymar. I don't Let's know. Nobody's going to pick. I don't know. <clears throat> don't, see, Dembele I mean, is good. I mean, he, Don't he give has... me other note. The guy is, whenever you need him the most, he doesn't show up. He kills you. He's not about like he doesn't show. He kills you. He literally missed the big chances. We see that every single big game, maybe except Sevilla's game, the guy scored us up against PSG, mm-hmm. against Liverpool. Liverpool. And that's if, not, if him not even being injured and missing. 
the whole season. So yeah, at least I rather have Neymar. And the big difference when Neymar joins the Spanish league again, he's gonna be protected by the refs compared to the French league, yeah, where the true. players are not protected. Yep. So that's gonna mean probably less injuries for him. So yeah, I think he's <coughs> till twenty nine. He can deliver a couple more seasons. Uh, with Fatty also unknown situation right now. I hope, I yeah. hope he comes back. I hope he comes back. And, and I mean, being realistic too, Haaland can join Barca this season. Yeah. So maybe Barca, if they go to Aguero, uh, signing Aguero, signing Neymar, signing maybe Depay too, signing Wijnaldum uh, from uh, Liverpool. I, I mean, they are free. They are free <coughs> transfers, man. Yeah, true. Are we Yeah. True, yeah, so just in, in, that's what I'm saying. Like increase the depth of your bench. But we got, we got, we got, uh, we got Greece. We got Greasy. Uh, you know, you the can't princess. Sell Don't disrespect the piece, the princess. The princess. You can Yeah, you just can't. I mean, if you're gonna sell Griezmann right now, you're gonna get a lot of money. Which where is will he? Where will he go though? Uh, Premier League fits him. Premier yeah, League fits United. Him. Yeah, United no. fits him. No, 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 no. Then who? Yeah, uh, it's like Chelsea. I no. think I think United United's, would be a good fit. United. Would I think United would be a good fit right now. It's almost like you're playing Simeone's way, but with just more offensive. So it's like France. So I think, yeah, I mean, I, he's already got Pogba right there and Martial. Uh, uh, but I just don't see it. I, I think Griezmann deserves its chance to stay. Uh, for, I mean, this season. Yeah. Compared oh, no, to not this season. season. That guy, this, this guy... He's this been, year, yeah, since this year. 2021, the guy is showing up every single, almost every single game. Game doing, yeah. even whenever he's missing the whole game, he will just show up. Some like the guy is smart, he knows where to stay or where to be in the field in the right time. We saw it in several games. Villarreal, <laughs> ah, that Valencia, hurt. that hurt that day. That hurt, ah, oh, that hurt. <laughs> Which one does hurt? Which day? Neymar just told his teammates he's leaving Barcelona. Sheesh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <clears throat> hey, but it's, I think, I'll be honest. Let's be honest. It, it was not. It was not as bad as Figo, but oh, it was. But I, I know. I took it personally. You took it personally. I, I definitely took it personally. I mean, yeah. if he like the guy, literally said that he's not gonna be leaving Barca and all that true, shit, true, and then true. he suddenly just betrayed us for the money. You know, like if he if he went to the Premier League or if he joined like a big I mean, team. I see I see what you say about the money, but to this day, I believe what uh, what's his name Alves said, Barto man, that guy is just see I no Alves I didn't I, 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 that man, guy I just is... didn't oh, I just didn't again. understand no I mean no no I understand what you're saying with Barto, but the fact that he said I left Barca just to prove that I'm gonna be good enough just to come back, I mean come on, the guy left Barca when he was 33 years old. Even if he can still deliver, yeah, for sure. You just can't. You just can't come back. I mean, you literally left. You just can't come back. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I mean, it's not like it's not your own team, oh, wow. or it's not your father's team, just to leave and join and all that stuff. So, it's just I, I think don't... he I, I, to, to those words. I guess he wandered wrong. I feel like he wanted to prove a point. Be like, hey, I could still do it at this age. But he also said he also said that, and everyone who left Barca regret that. Regret, yeah. And how many seasons Neymar has tried to come back? Almost close to coming back since he left. Since he left, every single summer we see we we hear the same. That's what I'm also like didn't except, take it except seriously, except you know? last year except last year because I mean Champions League so we can't no much many rumors. Oh, I mean there were summer. some rumors. Oh, last summer. Yeah, last summer. Yeah, I mean they were runner-ups and yeah because last season we had Messi to worry <clears> about. Yeah. We have Messi, Messi yeah. took the whole summer, and I mean, who would the have thought that summer. Messi? Who would have thought that Messi might leave Barcelona? And whenever that came, and then the bureau facts, I was like, "Jeez, oh yeah. man, it's that actually cra- happening." That was crazy, huh? Was I crazy. never imagined Messi with a different club, man. You see, I kind of, yeah. I kind of did, but not, mo- not like, and then I was like, no, no. just like, yeah, imagine it, but just like <clears> that, no. Barca, Messi, Messi, Barca. After, you know, after seeing those those pictures, like you know, on you go to social media, Picture, like, yeah. yeah, of of him with a city kit or oh, man, Paris kit, it just it, it, it didn't feel it didn't feel right. You just like, hey, you know, this this is wrong. This is wrong. 
he's a you I mean since he was a kid he's Barca for and life. I, you know, and I said it. I mean, if Messi misses Champions League final penalty, will Barca fans boo him? No way. Oof. No. No way. No. The guy will has Barca... given so much to this club. Man, who like who else get his name chanted with a ninety thousand fans or even hundred thousand fans? Ronaldo every single year. Ronaldo with Madrid. Ronaldo, Ronaldo was booed in Madrid. In Madrid, yeah, he was. But well, I mean, yes, towards the end, towards the end, him. towards the end. No, no, not even towards the end. Like <clears throat> even Messi, whenever Messi delivered bad games, nobody will say anything about him. Like that's a, he's he is the king of Catalonia. The king. Whenever he did the king, whenever oh, he decided, <laughs> Matt, whenever he decided to leave. Everybody yeah. took it personally. Even the president of Catalonia and all that, they took it personally. The yeah. whole media, the whole fans, the whole city, man, the whole city lives with Messi's shadows. I mean, mm-hmm. who goes to Barca except to see Messi right now? It's true. It's so true. <laughs> it's true. The guy is like actual, you know, for the tourism and all that. And he's, fans. A, he's, a, he's a he's a king. He is the king of Catalonia. He is a walking legend in Barca. Yeah. What about Princess? Andrew, can you please shut up? Oh, sorry, <laughs> shades. Can you please shut up? It's, hey, dude. It's, it's, it's Shades, man. Who's it's Andrew? Princess, dude. Leave Princess. Let Princess talk. Let, like, like Kevin I love, says. No, I love Griezmann, but Griezmann is just a good player. Like, the guy is just a good player. Yeah. He is no more than just a good player. And he will never be more as just like a good player. Like the guy doesn't have skills. What do you mean? Let's he won a World Cup. Yeah. That means he's better than Messi. Oof. France won the World Cup without the best French player in the world, Benzema. So chill. Who's that? Benzema. They could even go with that one guy who's playing in Mexico. Was they name? literally not- they literally <laughs> won it with the go kart guy. Yeah, yeah, that's all they needed. They could have lost it with Benzema. You never know. <laughs> it's true. And how many goals did Giroud score in the World Cup, except the penalties? I don't. E- I, he didn't even score a single goal, man. <laughs> <laughs> so no, they they would have won with anyone. True. What? I mean, they, they can even take that one guy who plays in Mexico. Like I said, Ginac. Oh yeah, that guy. Yeah, yeah, and and like he, they, they would have they would have still murdered because that guy, man, France was unstoppable. Like even Argentina getting so close to be tied again. I'm like, damn, I never even thought that Argentina is gonna have a chance to beat them. I don't know, but yeah, Pavard. I mean Benjamin Pavard. That goal, okay, yeah. that goal. Now let's go to the bigger, the other topic. I guess you could say the other big transfer rumor of the summer. Holland, Holland, Holland. 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 No, no, I think we already discussed that in the show. Holland is not leaving uh, anywhere. But you know, I guess a bit more in depth. I know. No, we, we, Holland. We, see, I don't believe that any club is gonna put that such big amount of money on a player who is not guaranteed to shine. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It's just crazy to spend such an amount of money, and we are talking about COVID. Heck, COVID the big teams joined that joined to make a new league just to get money to cover the expenses yeah, of the COVID speaking loss. Speaking of the so. Super League, we 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 uh, we didn't get to it. Let's make that a different episode. That's gonna be a big topic. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. I agree. We're well, gonna leave that for a different episode then. Yeah. I mean, because we all have our different opinions about it. Or I have my different opinions. About it, so I have my opinions like, on it too. Yeah, so it's going to be like a back and forth. And we've already yeah, been same. through an hour right now with the show. <laughs> One night. One no night. show. All right. Yeah. You want to call it off now? Any guys, you want to say anything? I want to say well, that. It was a pleasure. Yeah, it was a pleasure. Yeah. I hope you guys know that, you know, we're going to just dwell in football and a hey, football is a passion. Football is life. Look at this man. Look at this man. Damn. Oh, you guys were actually texting the Snapchat. I didn't even notice. <laughs> you have to. Okay. Well, you. Oh, gosh, this 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 is gonna this is gonna this is gonna. Yeah. This okay. has to be a the Andrew story. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'm not. No. Well, Shades you guys. Whatever. 
thank you for watching the show. This was the Golden Goal show. I can't, I'm never going to say that. The Golden Goal show. Thank the you. The double G, the, the double G S, the double G S show. If the you actually GS. stay for the whole time, you should join us in the, in the next. Yeah, seriously. Podcast. Like, it, if you guys really want to come out and talk to us, please. Like, uh, we wouldn't mind having your opinions and stuff like that. It's always nice hearing <laughs> other people's views on stuff. So, you know, yep. not only hearing like people, we are no oh. experts. So, yeah, we don't like only hearing people who are like, "Oh my God, I love Neymar so much." <laughs> <laughs> you know, we don't want any name Neymar um lovers in here. You know, no offense, Luis. Hey, no offense. Wow. Well, he, good he night, guys. He is a goat. So. And we might see MNG next season. Hopefully. Let's see Neymar Griezmann in Barca. Mm -hmm. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Like I said, the transfer market is going to be gonna be interesting. interesting. It's it gonna all be interesting. depends on tomorrow. Who's going to win mm -hmm. that game, City or PSG? If City wins, yep. Neymar to Barca rumors will hit as hard. If City loses and PSG win then goodbye Barca yeah we'll, we'll, we'll see if they I mean they go to the final and they lose it again mm -hmm. so yep. all right well, yeah, well thank you for you know <laughs> no no go ahead go ahead I'm going. okay now I was, I was gonna end it I was gonna end it you guys got anything else to say no nah, we're good no it was a pleasure it was okay, a all in the next episode Yeah, Abed, Luis, thank you for joining. We'll have a, two videos every week, one with a shorter version. We're going to try to make it a shorter version, but and then the second one, we're going to release it a little longer in the week. You know, it's the longer version of it. So, yeah, well, thank yep. you for joining. Luis, Abed, thank you very much for joining. I hope that we're going to, you know, make this show better, obviously. Thank you, Shades. Thank you, yep, Shades. No problem. No problem. Jackson, no problem. Jackson Shades. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, thanks for watching, guys. And like, subscribe, share. You guys need any words to say? You guys got anything to say? Uh, no, stop hey, the recording. Oh, Just definitely. have fun. Let's have fun and enjoy football. Enjoy One football. Love football. One All, love football. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, see ya. Peace at the Golden Goal Show.